Good morning, lovely students. Welcome to today's lesson. Um, yesterday we did um, counting to 100, and today we shall be talking about counting um, place value. And the objectives are to recognize the value of a digit based on its location within a number. And the second objective is to write numbers in words. The vocabulary words are place value, tens, unit, and abacus, and digits. Place value, tens, unit, abacus, digits. Click here on the PowerPoint. Okay, what is place value? What is place value? Do you know what place value is? Okay, why, are, why all the numbers have, have a place? They also have a value. The value of a number is based on the place the digit is in. That means the value of a number is based on the position, the location, the number is. I'll tell you more about it. Okay, it tells how much a particular digit is what within the whole number. For example, in the number 57, the value of the 7 is 7 because it's in the ones place. That means it's in the unit place. The value of the 5 is 50 because it's in the tens place. And if you count 5 tens, you will get 50. Like here, we have 57. When you have 57, don't forget that when you have two digit numbers, there's tens and there's units. So the first digit is the tens, while the second digit is the units. So the five here is in tens place. So when you count tens in five places, let's see what it gives. So these are my five fingers. So let's count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 5 tens is equal to what? 50. So here, 7 is in the unit place, which is 1's. So when you count 7 units, remains 7 because it's in 1's. So when you count 7 units, it gives you 7. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. So seven units remains seven. So 50, 50 plus seven is equal to 57. Let's move further to the next slide. Here, place value. So here, example one. We have example one and example two. So 58. So here we have tens and units. So like I explained earlier, that the value of five in fifty in fifty is um, the value of five is fifty. So here the value of eight here remains eight. So fifty plus eight gives fifty-eight. So five tens eight units. So these are tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And these are in one space, that's unit. So when you count this, it's, it remains ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight units remains eight. So the five stands for 50, while the eight stands for eight. So, so when you add 50 plus eight together, they give 58. So 58 is 58 when you write it in words. So now let's go to example two. Here we have 67. 67 is equal to, when you break it down, we have 60 and seven. Six tenths is 60. When you count six in six places, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How many fingers are here? These are six fingers. So that's a six tenths is 60. Then the 7 stands for 7. So when you add 60 plus 7 together, they give 67. So 67 is 67 in words. 
Okay, here, let's break, um, let's break it down here. We have how many tens are here? We have the blocks here. The long blocks stands for tens, while the single blocks stands for the small ones, stands for units. So how many tens are here? We have four tens. One, two, three, four. We have four tens. And we have how many units? One, two, three, four, five. We have five units here. So the four stands for 40 because of the long block is in tens and the five stands for five because the long the, the short stands for one activity one write these words as numbers these are in words so we want you to write it in as numbers as digits so here we have 22 22 Okay, so I'll write 22. And uh, I'll answer the second one also, which is 35. 35. So I'll write 35 here. So I want you to answer the rest of that question. Um, here we have. Okay, here is activity 2. So here I want you to write these numbers in words. We have 56, 74. 23, 59, and 32. 56, 74, 23, and 59, and 32. So our answer 1, 2, 3, I want you to answer 4 and 5. So 56, 15, 15, 15. Okay, the second one is 70, 74, 74, and our answer question two also, which is 23, 20, 20, and 3. Okay, so now I want you to answer question 4 and question, question 5 and send it to your teacher. Okay, the, I want you to answer this. I want you to answer the activity on previous book page 10 and send it to your teacher too. So here, I will answer some questions here and answer some questions here also. Uh, write these words as numbers. Write these words as numbers. So the first one is 43, 43, so I'll write 43, the second one is 96, 96, the third one is 52. So answer D, E and F yourself. So here, write these numbers as words, 71, 7, I'll write 7, one. Here we have 38. 30, 30, 8. And C is 59. 59. So here I want you to answer D, E, and F yourself and send it to your teacher. Click here to play the online game. You can do that on the PowerPoint. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye. See you some other time.